Greetings, family, and welcome to another episode of Dr. Mumbi's Spiritual Show. My name is Dr. Mumbi Saraki. How you doing? How's everything going? I really do pray, family, that you are well in all your ways and that you're moving into living life very much in your own story, in your own, the paradise of your own mind, because so much of the mental muck, the mental crap, the mental poison fell away in 2023. So much of the, the misidentity and misdiagnosis of who we were was revealed and released. And if you're, if you're in the right place, then you're feeling like a brand new person. And if you're not feeling like a brand new person, then continue to work on your healing. As I've been saying for the last two years, the most important thing is you fixing what's going on in here and in here, family. Not everything else can wait. Everything, be it love, be it children, be it, you know, your issues with your family, everything else can wait. The only way you're making it through to the new earth, to the new Africa, to the new you, is by working on what's in here and working on what's in here. It's not easy. It's very painful, family, because you're literally breaking down your mind and then rebuilding it again. It's like breaking your finger and rebuilding it. It's that mentally taxing. And that's why for the last two years, I've been advising you family to make sure that even if your life is filled with so much action, distraction and all these things, set aside a time for yourself, either early morning, late evening, whenever, even if you can't ask spirit to do it. And your ancestors will surely wake you up at like three or four in the morning every day. Because you're not going to move forward if you haven't worked on what's going on here and here. All that external stuff that was controlling us, all of that external stuff that was manipulating us, so much higher level vibrations have hit the planet that they have been washed off. They've been removed, family. And now it's just residues, but the majority of it has been removed. And that's why we're seeing the collapse of Babylon, because Babylon is a mental slavery. It's a mental thing. It's a mental governance that has tricked the world into thinking that they control the physical reality. And by now, the, we received the, the assistance we needed. The, the chariots, our ancient ones in riding in chariots, as was written, came in and they literally blasted off that negative energy to the point where at least we could get ourselves off the, out of the mud. And then they're here for us individually to now help us to wash the muck off and get ourselves together. If you are not new, if you are not renewed, if you are still in the same old rut, it's because you haven't silenced that inner critic. You haven't healed and alchemized all those negative things you were taught to believe about yourself, taught to uh, you know, embrace about yourself. Those are the handicaps that you have to come over and they're not physical handicaps. It's not a money handicap. It's a mental handicap. And a lot of us now, it's those mental handicaps because they put so many booby traps in our mind so that when the awakening came, many would be unable to embrace it because of what they, the, 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 the shackles that were in their brain that they didn't address because Babylon is a master of deception. They made us think it was all about the physical when it's actually all about what we think about and how we feel. There is more energy and love that is there for you now, family. So get started if you haven't. Because you should be feeling very different as you walk into 2024. 
your life should be looking very different from how it looked at the beginning of 2023. Or at least there is that feeling of like newness. You, you, you've, you've decided to take a new path for yourself because that old book of life family, whoa, was it hard to close out? Was it hard to close out? It's like those books, you know, those Pandora books or whatever, where they're trying to close it and you're seeing all the demons and the hands and the things trying to come out of, and the devil's trying to come out of the book. It's that kind of vibe, but it's shut. And the new dawn is here. It's getting, there is more assistance now. So I wanted to say it's getting easier to awaken because so many have awakened. But then Babylon is also doing the most to keep you distracted, afraid, so that you can remain delayed. But for those of us who are feeling very different right now, 2024 is the first year of the rest of our lives. Please check out the show I just recorded on that. It is a brand new life. And you should be feeling so excited and so overjoyed to be here. What Babylon is doing should be a distant thing where, okay, you're like, ooh, you guys are going crazy out there. A billion robots? AI in people's heads? You should, but it should be a distant thing because we have to get about the business of creating our heaven on earth and writing this new book. But those are stories for other days. Tu copa mão,